Good evening and welcome to Talk with Rams. And on this feature interview, in fact, today you'll find, or tonight, you'll find that our, our theme is almost about side hustling. Because even the coach will be talking about side hustling. And today on the feature interview, I'm sitting with a side hustler, somebody who's got a 9 to 5, but is growing an amazing brand on the side that is growing. And that is why she's here actually to talk about the side hustle. That is amazing. It's called modish hair CB. She'll tell us what CB stands for. It's funky, too funky for my liking. Mahoso Lebaja is my guest on Talk with Rams. Good evening. How are you? I'm dark and lovely. Thank you. How are you? I'm good. Good, good. So you're a you're a software developer and you, you work for an account firm, a big one at it for that matter, but we're here because of modish hair CB. Let's start with C, CB. The CB at the end of Modi's hair. Okay, the CB stands for Confidently Beautiful. Confidently which Beautiful. Which represents all women of color. Beautiful. So, hey, 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 what do you do? What is your business all about? So, my business is about uh, selling hair products. Mm -hmm. I'm selling hair. I maintain hair. I, I make uh, wigs. Yeah. I also install wigs on, on my clients. Yeah. So, that's what I do. Now, for my sins, and I suspect I speak for a lot of people watching us now. Okay. What is a, a wig as opposed to other things? How do these things differ? I, I don't know, as you can see, how long my hair is. <laughs> so how they differ is, some, it's like a hat. Someone will want to wear oh, it when they sleep, then they take, they it, take it off. Yes. Hey. And it also has nice different benefits for yeah. someone who wants to grow their hair. So, you know, once it's warm, your hair is warm, it's moist. then it's, yes, oh. it's growing and all this. So it's nice to have a wig rather than sewing it on. Yes. It makes life easy. Like you can't work out with it. Yeah. But at least when you go to the gym, you can take it out and work out with it. But people differ on what they want. Other people want it to be sewed on their head. Yeah. Others, they want it as a wig. So, do you buy and sell? Do you make? So, I have a supplier that supplies me with hair. It yeah. comes in different strings of bundles. Yeah. Then I customize it into a whole wig. Oh, so so as a client, I would then say I'm looking for this and then you customize it to into me. A wig, it, it, yes. it is mine. It is to made your, for me. Need, yes. Wow. Who's your client? Who? Who, who do you target? And I'll tell you why I'm asking this question, because it should be obvious. Eh? You're targeting people who like wigs. Actually, my question is not that obvious. There's also a movement that says we should like our natural hair. So yes. who are you selling to? I'm selling to anyone, someone who has natural hair, when they feel like not, you don't want to rock a weave. Yeah. I'm selling for people who like weaves, if they're all not interested in... Uh, like maintaining their own natural hair. Yeah. I'm selling to anyone who's interested in buying And hair. how do you reach them? So I have an Instagram page, a Facebook page, mm -hmm. other clients, I, I get them via reference. Yeah. So. How did it start? I mean, it's been just under three years? Yes. How did you start and why? Okay, I'm going to give you like a brief story about Please. it. Please, I've so, got all the time, got two minutes. <laughs> okay, just to be short, um, because I like hair, yeah. I grew up from a family, my aunt used to have a saloon, so that's where the love comes from and the knowledge comes from. So when I was in varsity towards my last year, my dad stopped giving me pocket money. Good for him. So I like changing hairstyles because I like hair. So I was like, no, let me try something else. I've, I've tried everything. Let me try out something different. I tried to go the natural route. I had dreadlocks. So within two months, it's like, no, the dreadlocks are now boring me. I need something. So I was like, okay, for me to grow them, because I want them to be long, and yeah. there's no easy way to getting them long until you get the artificial ones. Yeah. So I was like, okay, I'm going to have dreadlocks underneath. I'm going to sweep in a week. So when I wear the wig, at least my dreadlocks are growing underneath. So back to school, everyone is asking me about my wig. Where did you buy your hair? Who did your hair? So I'm like, okay, everyone seems to be interested in my hair. There's an opportunity. Why here. not yeah. say I sell hair? My second wig, I got the same response. Where did you buy? I was like, no, I make wigs. It started like that. And from then, I'm still continuing. It's still, it's still happening. Yes. And, and the growth has been yes. significant. You are seeing it. You are feeling it. I'm feeling it. Actually, then I want to focus on, because... We are on this theme of side hustling. You know, the reality of the matter is that most of us will never survive on, on nine to five. We need something Which else. Which is true. How are you finding the balance between your nine to five and this? 
So you make time for everything. Nine to five, I do my core work. Yeah. Then after work, I deal with my clients. And mm -hmm. I'm very grateful that my clients understand that I am a nine to five person. Yeah. So if I'm not uh, reliable at that time, they'll still give me time. They don't just give up and say I'm not yeah. available. So you don't even so promise them that you are available during nine to five. Because it's very important to be honest with your clients. Yes. You see. So they, they know that. Yes. I'm honest with them and they know them. But as the time goes by and the business expands, I will try to make sure that I cater for them even if I'm at work. Yes. So in terms of technology getting automated uh, responses or getting someone to help me and and is is the is the group of people you work with are they also potential clients or are they already clients of yours Can i mean you people you work with at work are they oh i do i do, you also I do sell yes them? i i do get clients at work like yeah. yesterday they're asking me oh your, your head's so nice they're touching like it's so soft yeah how much is this so i'll, I'll tell them how much is it yeah. and if they're interested they buy it but well so on that far, note on that note, let's talk price because and not not exact figures. <laughs> I'd like to know, as opposed to going under somebody else's thing is I don't know. I've never been inside a salon, <laughs> but me doing my hair and getting products onto my hair, as opposed to doing what you're doing. Which one comes cheaper? Which one is more sustainable? Which one is less maintenance? Why would I go for this as opposed to going sit three hours in a salon? So. People love and respect their time. Mm -hmm. Going to a saloon, you'll be spending three hours. Another thing about saloons, you will have to wait. There's someone who's been helped at that moment, and you're waiting three hours before they start helping you. Yeah. So you save time. So with wigs, you order online. It takes seven days. I use a different uh, company for Korea. Then I Korea to them. Then they've got their wigs. I'm also uh, opening a platform for people to come in and shop and go. Yeah. So that's how it works. Does it last longer than normal hair being done in a salon? So what happens is more they're more the same. When they sew it on your hair, you're going to have it like for a month. You know that you have growth, like your hair is exposure to dust and all this. So after a month, that's when you need to redo it. Yeah. So with the wig, it also depends on you. Are you wearing it every day? Is it like your Monday to Friday hairstyle? So if it's like that, you still have a chances of maintaining it, but it's better. After work, you take it off you. Okay. You put it aside. And and what does it take to keep it alive? I mean, do I need to buy products? Do I need to hang it in a particular style? Oh, sorry. Do they need to? <laughs> not necessarily me. Yeah. So in terms of packaging, you just keep it in a plastic. Yeah. So it's not exposed to dust or any chemicals. Then in terms of maintaining it, yes, there are products that you can use like your shampoo, your conditioner, and there is a mousse uh, that I, I sell also. <sighs> Let's talk about something slightly difficult. <clears throat> At which point are you going to start thinking about this as a potential main hustle? Uh, I Have don't... you thought about it? I, I, Could I'm... you think about it? You know, to be honest, it's something that is in the backside of my head. And surprisingly, I am getting this question a lot. But the thing is, I'm in two different spaces that I'm very passionate about. Mm -hmm. And looking at taking like a whole direction of modish share seeing it as a big i have big plans for it mm -hmm. but when i'm gonna jump into it and own it fully i can't say now until i see how it expands and yeah. how i grow as a, as a business globally i remember a series i watched it was called hair by this comedian i forget it chris rock oh i know and, and he spoke about this being a multi-billion dollar business. Is it still a growing business? It is a growing business, though there is competition. Mm -hmm. But I like to say for every woman that is in business who's doing the same business as I do, it's about how you market it. It's about you being strategic about it. Yeah. Having your own plans and not looking at how other people are doing it. Yeah. What is your vision and your end goal for your business? Yeah. So. For myself, I have my own strategy. I have my own plans for my business. So, yes, it is growing. It just depends on how you take care of your clients. I think what is important is you giving your clients the best service, mm -hmm. and that's when they'll come back for more. I reckon there are a number of people listening and watching us at the moment, and they'd like to be confidently beautiful. How do they get hold of Modish Hair? So Modish Hair is on Instagram. Yeah. Modish underscore hair underscore CB. And it's also on Facebook mm -hmm. under the same, uh, under the okay. same name okay. at Modish underscore hair underscore CB. Excellent. And everything is there, the pricing, the whole works. I mean, if somebody is watching us now, they're in Kuruman and they'd like to get 
to be confidently beautiful? Okay. Would you be able to supply them? Yes, I'll be able to supply them. And what's nice that my business is growing. I've got clients in Botswana. Ah. I'm looking into uh, merging into Lesotho. Uh -huh. So... That's beautiful. Unreachable. That's beautiful. So we're going to repeat all those details in case they did not hear you, okay. in case they don't know how to spell Modish. We do know. So it's on the platform. And by the way, do subscribe to the platform. Talk with Rams. That's the name of the platform. You can see it now. We now brand it. It's right here. And uh, we also on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram as Talk with Rams. So it's all Talk with Rams.